Beatles song, Lekker Tuck and Snuff. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> What? There was a song on on Twitter, like when you were still on Twitter, where who, these wait, who was still on Twitter? You. Oh yeah. Um, it was just these guys in a room. I think it was like PE or something. Oh yes, and they're singing like a tick and snap, snap. <laughs> I didn't realize that they were talking about drugs this entire time. Really? What do you think you were saying? It didn't. It didn't register. It just looked hella. Like a duck and they took a about duck and snave, bro. It was a great song though. It was a great song. If I can find it, I will absolutely revive it. But yeah, <laughs> I don't do those, you know, type of drugs. I do. <laughs> I do every other kind. Except <laughs> I do we'll the Colombian there. types. <laughs> I'm joking. I don't. Uh, I hardly drink, really, truly. Welcome to Conversations Without Context for the last time this season. It's episode twenty. <laughs> yes. Who used to do that on Metro all the time? <laughs> he it was Tibo off... Touch. Oh Sorry. yeah. Is Tibo still? No what idea. is he doing? Oh, he's on uh, Central. Doesn't he co-own it with Gareth now? Oh, that's cute. Central something. Central Touch. Central. Cl- there you go. Wow. Central Touch. <laughs> I just knew he, one Central of them had their. Touch. I just knew one of them had their names. <laughs> in there. You're never living this down. <laughs> I just knew one of them had their names in there. Central touch. Love Central it. touch. It okay. is what it is. Um, conversations without context. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, we are a podcast of niggas that just be talking. Really. It's That's just... All, it's, all, it's, a, it's a podcast of, of bands. Bands. You know, hence the conversations that don't really have any context. Bands. Um... The UK version coming out called Bands. I'm kidding. There's no UK version. But that would be called cool. Bands. I, I, I don't know. That's okay. Anyway. That would be so much shorter. You know, <laughs> conversation about context all the time. It's a long day. Like, Welcome to Bands. Welcome to Bands. <laughs> We're done. We might consolidate the title in the next season. Um, I'm going to write it down. <laughs> <laughs> write it down on the vision board. Oh. Um yeah so we're just here for the bands you feel me it's the finale it's the final episode it's just us it's your mother and it's your father and what are you gonna do when this is over what you are gonna do is go back and rewatch the season yeah because you're nostalgic girl and run up the views and then send it to your friends when you remember funny things up Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that was a good song I liked yeah, it. it was, it was. That it and was. the remix. Yes. I was here for the Dump the Cheese Up. Mm. So, you know, we were taking a walk the other day, a few weeks back. A long walk. Uh, we were at the park, though, where we were at Sea <laughs> Point. Yes. Um, yes. Oh, yes, we were at Sea Point. Yeah, and we were just taking a walk. Um, and we were we were on our way home, but we waited at the bus stop, right? Um, and uh, some some there's the two people that walked past us. Yeah. And then I just randomly said, "Was like, you know, it's such a. I mean, I've been thinking this for a while. It didn't pop up to me in the moment, but it just reminded me when that happened. Mm. How profound it is that." At any given moment, entire lives and memories are intersecting, even for just a second. Every yeah. time you walk past a person, you're not walking past a, a, a human, where well, you are, but I mean... Just an object, I you're think. You're walking past somebody who has years and years and years of memories, stories, knowledge, an entire existence that is literally captured in a body that is moving past you and you're never going to come across that existence again you're literally part of their day for three seconds less than less than if they even notice you <laughs> true you know true. what i mean it's such, such a profound thing that every person you see what you're seeing physically is the vessel right yeah. but what is there is really so much it's like it's like um 
it's like you're seeing the body like on the outside but if yes. you look inside the person it's like a tunnel the, the contents you don't and it doesn't end and it's such a yeah. it's such a weird thing like even when you hear when you hear when you're walking past someone and then you hear like two seconds of their conversation oh yeah they were saying something really weird or something yeah there's something really weird and they just it was actually just one sentence that he was saying and then he just kept walking with this person that they were walking with and you don't know the context of what they're saying at all again it's a conversation without context <laughs> right yeah you don't know what they're saying you don't know where it's coming from you don't know why they're saying it you don't know the memories that are attached to him saying the that feelings the as feeling. well you just know that in that moment and it affects you and you carry on with your existence yeah. but in that moment entire existences <laughs> <laughs> yes intersect yeah and like and like that happens literally all the time consistently with billions of people true that is a a fucking crazy phenomenon for me even now i mean for them they might have completely forgotten that conversation completely forgotten that walk across the road but we're talking about it now (laughs) and you're listening to it now and it's part of your story as well for some reason (laughs) you know what i'm saying yeah yeah um it's like this what is it called the butterfly effect type thing i, I no guess yeah so the butterfly effect is that what's the whole thing there's a whole thing of the general idea is that a a butterfly's um flapping can lead to thunder in somewhere else so like a thing of how we are domino effects to each other mm. um you know knowingly and unknowingly yes 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 so, for example, my personality is a. It has been conjured up from everything that's happened before. We are a product of our influences. True. Good and bad. True. True. And you know, you are all the things that have happened. That have happened to you. That have happened to you. Mm. Unfortunately, and fortunately. Even though when those things happen, you're still interacting with other people who have had things happen to them. So you're in that moment. It's still an intersection of entire existences. Yeah. <laughs> but I think also, I keep saying existences, jeez. Existences. I, yeah. You know, <laughs> I always think the plural has to sound weird okay. for some reason. I can never just have a normal, mm-hmm. normal, um, plural. Um, but then I think, one thing I was also thinking about earlier this week was how interesting it is that one moment can have such a huge impact on someone and then to the person, it's just nothing. Mm. Go it's on. Just like, well, mm, I'm not trying to conjure up trauma, so let's think of a good memory. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who wanted to speak about this. <laughs> I don't know if, how comfortable the, the listeners are with trauma or with oh, about trauma. We, if they went past episode 19 and kept listening, okay. they're good. Okay. So, you know, I was just thinking about um, something someone had told me that was very hurtful. Um, I'm sorry, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting there. <laughs> but, like, I was tasked to do something and I didn't do it because I completely forgot because to me it wasn't of high priority but to this person it was Mm -hmm. and they came back to me guns blazing on some what the fuck bitch this was important you're a b c and d um what is this do i know about this i don't think i know this i don't think you know about this am i willing to expose who this person is no you don't really you don't have to say it just the conversation what was it about would it be too obvious if you say yeah okay it would be too obvious okay. but i just i don't know sometimes um with that okay with that i sometimes feel a very big uh responsibility when people ask me things even if it's something small because i know that they want me to do that thing or counting on me to do that thing mm. and then i just don't show up because i don't want to mm. or because i forgot which happens a lot of the time. <laughs> my memory Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no, baby. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh no. But I just think then it gives us the opportunity to think about how to be kinder to people, I suppose. You know, you yeah. don't know how much power you have in someone's day. Oh. You don't know. <laughs> I can see you like really thinking about it. No, it's got very profound very quickly and okay. 
Yeah, no, a hundred percent. I think, I think part of the reason why I left social media on that yeah. scale was because I could, I, I could see that. How do I say this? As bluntly as possible. I'm going to, I'm going to let it go, And the thing is, when you talk to someone, especially a person you don't know, yeah. a person whose experience you don't know, a person you don't, you don't understand, all you see is a tweet, right? All you see is a, is a post on Instagram or whatever. Yeah. Sometimes people really be acting reckless because A, when it comes to, okay, I like Facebook, but like other things like Instagram and Twitter, you can really be anybody. Yeah. All right. It's hard to it's hard to gauge tone yeah but even if you don't even if without that you can you can generally see when somebody's trying to be hella sarcastic or condescending to you yeah um and this ties back to the original thing of it really is it'll be one tweet or one thing that's you know quoted this one moment in your life or one tweet in your life and it can really fuck up the rest of the day like if yeah. you if you let's say it like this if we post this video now and we had a hundred fantastic um comments mm. but then one comment that says shut up you sound nasally as fuck why are you here yeah i'm nine times out of ten going to focus on the nasally as fuck than the positive stuff and to you it was just a moment type 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 go yeah, and, and they forget on. about it. You've, you've forgotten about it. Yeah. And whoever's in that moment impacted by that, yeah. now I'm constantly thinking, okay, how do I not sound nasally? And I'm looking up YouTube videos of how to <laughs> train my voice, how to yeah. drop my octave. All yeah. because of some shit where everybody else is like, yo, you niggas is like, you're great. Yeah. I love the show. Love your voices. You should do more. Things like that. You know that. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, that's another aspect of it um, that... To me, it felt as if that people didn't care, yeah, but yeah. wanted grace for them. They wanted people to understand them that they're human and that they make mistakes, or that they um, don't talk to me that way, or you know what I'm saying. For a minute, tone, yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. And but you can't do that to other people. Yeah. When your brand is sarcasm and condescending and patronizing, but you you don't you don't see it. I think also people don't also see um, how people can take things differently as well. Mm. So, for example, maybe someone did tweet something that was maybe unfavorable and then the other person goes off at them and we have this whole, the whole peanut gallery just like making a noise about it. Mm. And it's just like, yo, guys, like stop bullying this person. Leave them alone. Yeah, but it's also a thing of like, I don't know. Maybe it's just as an artist, I'm generally sensitive. Mm-hmm. Could be. I don't know. But you know, it, it's it's a it's a very weird. Um. I don't know. Intersection. Place to be. Dichotomy. Okay. I'm not sure if that's the word. You can tell me. Correct me if I'm wrong. Finish. Whereas you. if we where we want to talk about things like you know mental health and all that stuff and being kinder to people but when you're being vitriolic yeah intentionally or unintentionally or you're like oh this sarcastic tweet is going to get me retweets yeah you don't know how it's affecting the person at all and you That's don't know what kind thing. of day that they've had and then when you talk about turn around something happens to that person you want to talk about let's be kind to one another like oh let's yeah to me it's just like your existence, while okay, how do I say this? Was that the dichotomy? Was that the right thing to say, or was that the wrong thing? I think it's dichotomy. Okay, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I just think that philosophy-wise, as humans, we are everything and nothing at the same time. Yes. You know. Yes. Like, if if I were to just drop at this point. The world is still going to go on. You're still going to keep on breathing. You're not going to stop breathing. Yeah. The world is still going to rotate on its axis. Yeah. It's still going to rotate around the sun. It's, everything is going to happen. It's not going to stop. But at the same time, if I were to drop, hopefully there will be people that care. <laughs> I would care. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'd probably be the first one to be like, oh shit. And things, and, and was, but I think that would affect you forever. Yeah. But yeah. at the same time, me being gone doesn't really change with the world and the grammar scheme of things. Oh, sure. You know what sure. I mean? So, 
I say all of that to say, yes, it's your comment. It's a point in time. It's a throwaway for you. Yeah. But at the same time, and, and people shouldn't take it seriously and people should, you know, it should be water off a duck's back. Yeah. Um, because it's a comment, it's a nothing, it's a cipher. But at the same time... Oh, guys. Kill fucking people's lives for real. Yeah, it's it's nothing and it's everything at the same time. A comment is nothing. It's a freebie. It's just typing. Yeah. But at the same time, it could really... You know what I mean? That yeah. intersection of people... Uh, that's why, I mean, in the last... Probably since going to university. I don't know. I've never been really mm. been an asshole to begin with. But, like, it's a thing of... I've tried to be very intentional as an adult. Yeah of being very I mean I don't always do it well I mean today I was trash wow <laughs> this one hey I can't so, even say I cannot even say I am appalled but that's the thing <laughs> if 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 that was heard from an outside person yeah that would probably that would not be good for <laughs> no. me you know what I'm saying but I think also I, um, it depends on the type of relationship you have with the person some people are over familiar <laughs> on okay. social media as well. Um, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just try and be intentional in Yeah. Oh, just try and be in- intentional in I don't want to say like extending grace or just intentional in being being respectful. Now, I know there's a very big hot topic I respect you if you respect me type thing. But I understand, I understand that. But for me, it's like a thing of I'm gonna come at you from a place of respect. Yeah, I'm always gonna be respectful. If at that point you're like, actually, I don't love you, then it's gonna change. Like that's so like even it's the same thing. Even like with an like an elder type of situation, right? I've never. I mean, I'm I'm generally out of out of when I start off, I'll be deferential. Mm -hmm. But if at some point you're like, oh, okay, I don't fuck with you like that, then I'm just not gonna fuck with you. Like, I'm yeah. there's no need for me to be like, well, prove to me. Prove to me you deserve respect. That's what people, it sounds like that's what they're saying. That's what they do sometimes. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, no, you should come to every person that you come across with respect. And then yeah. be like, actually, you Once don't. Once you assess the situation. And you're like, no, you don't deserve it. And then you can take it back. Yeah. It's not permanent. It's not like if you give it that they have this hold over you that you once gave me respect. That no. you're, you're weak, quote unquote. <laughs> it's just but... a thing. Because that's how I find it. I'm, maybe I'm just not reading it nuanced enough when, when they say it. And I'm being very simplistic in my assessment of what they're saying. Um, but for me, it's a thing of like, yes, respect is earned. It's how it's kept. That's yeah. how it's kept for me. True. But I'm not going to come into the situation on some... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna come into it like hella, yeah. hella, 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 like proof to me. Yeah, <laughs> it's just yeah. weird to me. And it just sort of sounds like that. I don't know. Yeah. It's just weird. Okay. I think even, um, even within that. Okay, there's also a thing where, um, you know, we try to appear to be kind or respectful, but it's just the tone. I guess. Because I think, um, going back to being intentional, sometimes your intention is the best, but the interpretation of what you did is, I feel, you know, important um, over over the intention sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I agree with that. And that's where, you know, things are lost in translation and that's why, you know, people uh, have to apologize in life. Yeah. (laughs) Because, I mean, look, life doesn't end at, you know, you have to communicate. You also have to comprehend. <laughs> you also have to perceive. Think about. Can you just repeat that again for the people <laughs> at the back? Oh. It's not just communication, it's comprehension. <laughs> it's also putting things in you, context. No, no, stop. Because <laughs> you just hurt their feelings right now. I need you to understand that because everybody loves to be the victim and act like you can't communicate, but are you comprehending? Yes. I mean, of course, you know, there are holes in communication. My communication is not the best, but do you comprehend and And understand that? (laughs) Especially if you understand the way someone communicates. It's uh, it's understandable if it's a stranger. Okay, fine. Whatever. Yeah. But... (laughs) Yeah, we're talking about like consistent relationships at this point. Sure. But uh, keep going. Sorry, I interrupted you. No, no, no. Talk. 
I don't have anything to say. <laughs> I forgot <laughs> what I forgot what I was gonna say. I had it to oh, my yeah, head. Even within context as well. Mm-hmm. Um because sometimes comprehension outside of context can really <laughs> get very, very messy. I mean, some things are fucked up to say, for sure. Yeah. But you need to have, communicate, comprehend, and understand context all in one instead of just talking out your feelings and expecting the person to just take whatever that you gave them. Which is also why I say, people, don't be telling social media every thought. There's no need. But some people don't understand where it comes from. Yeah. And when you are... when it's it's kind of like when you're in the street yeah. and you're walking past someone, your existences are crossing, and all they hear is the sky is green, and they keep you keep walking, they keep walking. Yeah. You're thinking you're stupid. Yeah. Why the sky is not green? But you don't know what the context of what that what is. What if they're talking about I don't know an artwork? Oh, in the picture the sky they're is green. Talking about an animation. <laughs> What they're talking about, or they're busy discussing possibilities of alternate universes. Or a dream that they had, or something. You know something. what I'm saying? They don't know. There's a whole existence that is that it, mm. it exists behind any sentence that is ever said. Maybe they're on psychedelics. You don't know. <laughs> That's also a option, I People guess. People are doing drugs. Like People it's... really do in the city. Yeah. That's we are, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I think I think we... I don't know how to say this. Let's just go. We're 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 gonna be cancelled anyway for episode of nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be cancelled anyway. Let's keep going. Um, you know nobody watches like ten people. Let's go. Yeah, I just I wish there could be space for kindness. I don't know. Like I said in an earlier episode, Cape Town is rude. <laughs> just <laughs> Cape Town in general is just rude. People are disgusting. I am appalled. Where, where did you come across what, what was happening? No, man, I just, no, just in like, general. In general. You're like, talking about like maybe like in the services like that you receive or just no, people? Like, just people in general. When you're talking to people. Yeah. Give example. I mean, I remember I was asking someone for, for, oh, oh, there was this one time I was um, walking the street, literally crossing the road, and this taxi. Um, came to do a three point turn mm-hmm. in that little intersection that I was crossing. So I'm like trying to walk a bit faster so that they can like do what they want to do because I know taxis, <laughs> they're always in a rush. And Except the... when they aren't. Except when they are. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Except when they aren't. <laughs> Listen, that ride to t- from town to Belleville? Fuck, bro. <laughs> Yo. That's why I never did that shit. So, Ati, uh, the, oh, go on, do you, Usdo, whatever you call him. Usdo? People call us Usdo. That's actually the first time I've ever heard that. Really? Well, I, I know, I got you and go on, that's all I know. <laughs> but yeah, him, he was just like, ah, so, 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 like, in a rushed way, but not in a rude way. All of a sudden, Ati, so, I'm like, huh? Yeah, like, yeah. I looked at him like, I, I stood there and I looked at him. And he just like, like pretend not to see me. When I when I was like confronting him with my look, I guess. That's such a weird thing. It's such a weird thing. That's such a weird thing. I think maybe I I, I don't want to dis. I'm not gonna dispute your fact that Cape Town is rude because I don't go out enough. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so I can't tell you. I can't tell you. I really can't tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the people I do hang around enough are people that I can stand. So yeah. I don't generally go, but I, I can't, I think in general, I force people to, to greet. So that's that. Yeah. And that's, that's the one African thing in me that I'll never leave. <laughs> I think, I think for me, it's more shocking when I come across kind people. It's just like, Oh, are you from here? Or <laughs> that's just been my, my so experience. Even if you go to the shops and like the cashiers, they're not, they're not helpful. No, that's a no. I think I've had too many ex- bad experience. Not bad, but not positive experience. Yeah, I can't. Not up. overtly positive. Yeah. 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 No, I mean, I think people care just stress. I think. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because I've, I've, um, I don't know. Maybe, I, I don't know. I just have. I've had people who've been fairly decent, or maybe I just don't pay attention to people that are rude, and mm-hmm. I just go in and out. Maybe I'm a sensitive hoe. You know, no, but both I, can be true. <laughs> no, I think you're valid, and I think that you've probably had very. There's, 
it can go either or in the city. Yeah. It's kind of like a thing of, I don't know. It's very much a, um, it's very much a thing of, it can go either or. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> But also, like, I think this this interaction of existences. Yeah, it's even more important when you are in a particular position of power. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So, like, teachers, um, or bosses, or whatever the fuck, mm. lecturers, um, or you know, parents, or siblings, or whatever. Siblings uh, to an extent. <laughs> extent yeah <laughs> um yeah your existences will converge a lot more often obviously yes but you're still existences that are really just passing by mm. right and you never really especially as an adult you don't really converge that way unless you live with the person <laughs> true um and i think it makes the experience very unique but also on the makes what experience unique Life, okay. Just okay. General. <laughs> it makes a life experience okay. <laughs> very unique, but it can also make it lonely. Um, although there are a lot of people who have gone through similar things, a lot of people, your combination is extremely unique. You're the only person who's ever gonna live that type of life ever in your life. Even if you have you you are attached at the hip with somebody for your entire life, Bro. there will be something that's not the same. Not interpreted the same. Yeah. Not affect you the same. Somebody giving yeah. you a flower to your conjoined twin. Both of you may not receive it the same way. They may forget it. And you may be like, wow, that one person ever gave me a flower. I'm still yeah. in love with them 20 years later. You know what I mean? The experience is still yeah. not the same. Even if you're literally joined at the hip forever and ever. Yeah. Amen. Uh, I interrupted once again. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> again. What was I even saying? I don't know, but it was it sounded profound as fuck. <laughs> I'm wise <laughs> sometimes. The way you're sitting right now, you're giving Maya Angelou vibes. <laughs> Thank you. You got a scarf, got some earrings in, got some short hair like Maya. <laughs> <laughs> All you're missing is your glasses. My, I left my glasses on my bed. Are you sure you didn't leave them in the Uber? No. No, I always look behind me now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is really a long episode. We just sort of want to end it off very calm and cool and collected, considering yeah. the previous episode was very intense. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure, you know, maybe our episodes have meant something. Maybe you've caught something or something that you'll never forget. Maybe it meant nothing. It was a time filler, but we're happy to have filled up that time for you. Yeah, I mean, even our experiences of making this podcast is not going to be the same. Absolutely not. You know the things we go through. Have you ever won? Like, just the fact that I'm here in my body, looking at you and yeah. not looking at me. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. How I interact with you is not the same way you interact with me. Yes. Also, how everybody else. So you have very different interactions with your friends mm. compared to how I'm interacting with you. Mm. And even just that dynamic. I always feel weird when my friends, friends. meet each other. It's like oh, a I'm, crossover I'm... episode I didn't want. No! <laughs> <laughs> Not that like it shouldn't happen. It's just I feel weird because I don't... We have different um, mm. dynamics, different uh, they dialogues. They might not understand. Like, if I say something offhand to you, yeah. it might seem a little shady. But then to you, it's just like, oh, jokes, jokes. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know it's not a serious thing. But the other person who's interpreting it from the outside, you're like, oh, are you guys sure you're friends? You know what I'm saying? What the fuck happened here? <laughs> like, where? We're just chatting. Oh, because this happened with um, cousins where I, ha- I have one cousin in so and so <laughs> and other cousins uh, in my hometown mm-hmm. and we i had had my hometown cousins over mm. and the cousin out of town came over as well and it's from the same family or different family mother father uh, extended and then closer closer <laughs> yes okay. there's close extended and then further extended mm-hmm. so it was very weird for the both of them to see me interacting with the other person or people because they were like, 
you're not this person with me. Because we're only used to one person's aspect of their existence. True. You know what I'm saying? And again, this all boils back down to existence, really. But then also, there's the um, fortunate or lucky, unlucky sad part of you'll never truly know someone. But then in the adverse, you're always learning about them. You're always finding out new things. It's not just the same person that you have in your imagined head. I don't, I don't know, know if, that makes sense. No, no, you make 100%. I don't know if you'll ever really not. Like in the sense of your core of who you are doesn't change. True. Oh, so true. So I would say like the 90% of you somebody has the chance to know i think it's just the nuance of you in a particular situation yeah. so you in in a romantic sense would would do or say certain things but wouldn't say it with your friends or even vice versa or vice versa you know yeah. what i mean it doesn't necessarily mean that the one doesn't know truly know you they, they might yeah. both very well know you but there's that one to ten percent nuance that's like yeah, you guys all know this essence about me, but like I would make certain jokes with you that I wouldn't make with other people. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't necessarily mean that other people that don't that know me don't know me. Yeah, and I think um, it actually just reminded me of something else now cool. of a friendship group mm. um, where there is was three of us. <laughs> there is th- three of us, but we all had very different relationships with each other. Mm. and it kind of I think for each of us because we had to have a conversation about this for each of us it was just weird how they were so close over certain things and I just couldn't I was like what the fuck are you guys talking about that's not even funny (laughs) was it just that one thing (laughs) but was it multiple things I think it was many things like there was Uh, things that I could relate to one person the person did not care about or know about or couldn't add to the conversation. Did that make things better or worse that you acknowledged it? At the time, it made it worse. Um, I'll also explain why it made it worse. But <laughs> I think you kind of know why. Um, but I think it's great to also... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to also know that, you know, people can exist outside of you, <laughs> I guess. You know, it's also one wanting to acknowledge and wanting to be okay with, you know, people having a life outside of you. And encouraging that. And encouraging that as well. Because, wow, boy, I, I'm i thinking so much right now. I And I want to hear it all. Oh, man. I had a relationship mm-hmm. um, where the guy was trying to isolate me, feeling weird about me having a life outside of him. So weirdos. Yeah. Have you ever thought of? I know this is a very common question, but this I guess kind of relates to the whole existence thing that we were talking about. Yeah. Is that how do you think people see you? Because how you see you and how you are is not necessarily well it might, but it might not match me seeing you and yeah. vice versa. Like, what do you th- a What do you think people seeing you? Yeah. B what do you hope they see in you? Mm-hmm. And um, see, do you think that it's pretty close? Hmm. Like, is there a lot of conversion between what you think people will see you and what you actually hope you, they are? Or what you think you are? Yeah. Hmm. I think what people see... Because that's the truth. That's who you actually are is where that comes in, the conversion. Now, are we talking strangers that you meet or people that know me um let's do it we can do subsection it's like that okay so let's subsection in the sense of when someone meets you for the first time what do you think that they th- they see about you and then yeah. let's talk about people that know you what do you think they see of you okay let's talk with strangers yeah i think they see that i'm quiet actually <laughs> i'm a very very quiet when i don't know anybody mm-hmm. if if you if I go out with you and you don't allow me to latch onto you, <laughs> boy, I'm quiet. I'm silent. I'm a church mouse. I don't exist. Mm-hmm. But then I think once we get into also, conversation... Also, why do churches have so many mice? Why do churches have so many mice? And they can't, 
<laughs> why can't you go clean your attics? What's happening? Why do you have so many mice? Okay, anyways. Why would there be mice anyway? Yeah. Let's start there. Because that would mean it's dirty and raggedy. <laughs> exactly. Um, but once we do stop talking, I think I'm funny, kind, good listener, I suppose. Mm-hmm. I mean, I have had a couple of conversations where people just go straight into talking about depression. And <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay, yeah. So you give off that vibe of being either you give off the vibe of being one of them or you give off the vibe of being a very good listener. Which yeah. One? Or both. 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 Okay. I see both happening. But there there have been instances with especially if I go to like a club or party. Yo. And especially because here in Cape Town I've noticed people love down with the click always. So it's hard to branch out and I'm also not likely a person to be the first person to talk to someone. All of my friendships have started with me not talking first. <laughs> so do they think you think people perceive you as um I don't I don't think no. Are you are you saying that people perceive you as timid or reserved? Yes. Okay. Yes. I definitely see that. Um people you know? How about them? People I know. I think they think I'm funny. Okay. I have my moments. Okay. <laughs> I have my moments. Okay. Funny, thoughtful. Mm-hmm. Um even maybe just I worry <laughs> <laughs> I never mind. Um, <laughs> why were you doing that? Because <laughs> why not? The joke has to win. <laughs> oh man. Um, so I hope that people, oh, the people that I know what they see. Um, what do you so, think they perceive you? What do you think? Okay, I think I'm, but I think they think I'm funny. Uh, <laughs> or otherwise they wouldn't laugh. Thoughtful. Um. Maybe too idealistic sometimes. In what sense? Um, I I I love these big picture things. Like, I say I'm gonna do this. Like my move here to Cape Town oh. was very much a big picture thing. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think. I mean, that's not all. I, I'm wanting you to elaborate. <laughs> so you're saying that's not all. I think also I worry that. Okay, this is a worry. Not yeah. necessarily what I think people think of me. But I worry that people think that I'm making my depression, my personality, when it's just, it just affects me that much. Mm. Yeah, because... Mm, now we're getting into the meat of it. <sighs> yes. Because I noticed in one of my friendship groups again, when we're talking, when we're like, when it's been once in a while, and we're like, hey, how's everybody doing? I'm always not doing well. Ah, generally, just mm. um. So, ooh, also, that's... you are you honest? Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to be. Oh, there's one other thing that I need to tell you that I'm going to do this week, hopefully. But anyway, um, what do you think? No, People I'm not think? done with you. I'm not done with you. Oh, oh, okay. and oh, oh, how do you see yourself? Me. Ooh, and, boy. Yeah. yeah. Go. And like, are they close to the truth? How do you see yourself uh, first? Let's start there. What did I say? <laughs> I think I am how I see myself. I think I'm very, um, I would say giving, whether it's with time, mm-hmm. with <laughs> ordering Uber Eats food. <laughs> but in one way or You've another. You've never ordered me Uber, Uber Eats? I have. Multiple times. The lies. The gaspies. The lies. Bitch. The I lies. will conjure up. <laughs> the lies. But listen, I say it in different ways, whether it's time. <laughs> so clearly I'm the time bitch. Yes, you're the time okay. bitch. <laughs> whether it's time um, or food or money. Wow. Boy, I've been through so much. And also, I think... I think I do have a timidity to me, even with, um, my housemates, because I moved a couple months ago, I didn't really speak to anybody except for saying hello until one of them invited me to like drink and chill with them. Only then did I start like speaking, speaking with them Mm. beyond the hellos. Um, so, so you think that they're pretty close? 
not close, but you know, we're good. We're on good terms. No, 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 no. I mean, people's oh. perception of you and your perception of you, do you think that they're actually kind of spot on? Or? I hope so. What do you think of me? <laughs> do you think my self-assessment is... I'm asking you, so I ain't got nothing to do with Oh, me. yes. I think it's spot on. So you're saying, okay, so you're thinking that people, when, the way people perceive you is really who you are. There's no, there's no mismatch or mis, miscommunication or wires crossing. Yeah. Okay. That's good. So. That's good. How do you see me? Do you think my self-assessment is... I think you're pretty close. Okay. What would you... What was the other thing that I haven't missed or that I've missed? Um... Be brutal if you have to. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just trying to figure out how to word it. I don't know. I... I'm a bitch. I'm a hoe. No. Slut. <laughs> I don't think you actually see... The full picture of what other people see of you. Okay. You you kind of watered it down because I actually don't think as many people. You have to understand. Okay, how do I say this? You have a lot of people that are attracted to you, even when you don't try. Lol. So clearly, there's something that's happening. <laughs> <laughs> you mean like romantically or just as friends? Even both. I mean, people just gravitate to you and the way you are. So. I think there's a quality that you're not seeing that other people are seeing because clearly it keeps them coming to you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Lol. So there's a disconnect where you're kind of rating yourself lower than I think that other people are rating you. Yeah. And then in that sense that you're, you're doing that, you've sort of kept yourself back. Woo! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because you're not, you don't rate your, you're not that you don't think that you really are that bitch when if you really stepped into the 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 hundred percent of you. Yeah. I feel like you'd really you'd um you'd soar higher. Thanks, bitch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's the only disconnect, really. Yeah. Um, I can see the whole personality depression thing. I can see how people might interpret that. But yeah. if it's such, if it's something that's so interwoven to your existence, it's kind of hard for it to not be a personality adjacent because technically it's a mental disorder and mentally it does affect your yeah. personality. <laughs> so it's True. not like um, it's not a, it's not disconnected. And even if it was part of your personality, it's not exactly wrong. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I mean, that's it, really. Yeah. What about you? What about me? <laughs> What do you think? We're done for this week. Oh, <laughs> bye, I guess. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs> See oh. you never. <laughs> yeah, you're right. See you never next for season. A b- uh, for a bit. <laughs> never for a bit. <laughs> never for a bit, yes. Makes See sense you in, my head. in a couple months. Yeah. Bye. I was serious. <laughs> Are you serious? No. Oh, okay, fine. I can do five minutes. <laughs> you really think I'm canceling it? Yes. Okay. Um, Fair enough. I'm avoidant. You didn't know this by now. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, what was the question? It's some with strangers. How do you think people perceive you? Big. And not necessarily in the physical. I mean, which is, I mean, that's obvious. I see myself in the mirror. But I think in the sense of, you know, when someone has like a strong personality and they just come in the room big. Yeah. Not that big, but like a thing of, Oh, you just entered. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. But I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, though. Bitch, here I go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I heard you bitches was looking for me. <laughs> Bitch, here, here I go. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you, I play that as every, almost every day. That's good. I'm just glad. Because I'm glad. I imagine myself with acrylics and everything. Yes. I don't think I'd ever... I should try acrylics You one should day. try. They're, they're fun. <laughs> <laughs> they're fun. You didn't tell me how DJ was with that. <laughs> it was a great show. <laughs> <laughs> they came on asking for more. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. We want the last song again. Woo! Remix! <laughs> Bring it back. <laughs> Yo, listen. Okay, yes? Sorry, that's... <laughs> that was fun. You're just out of control. Mm-hmm. We should have a serious conversation. <laughs> Where? Yeah. Um. I think also, I've noticed like people think I'm a lot more proper than I actually am. I think it's just because of the way I speak. Proper in what sense? Because I speak 
I speak like this. My English accent is very this. Because I don't see it. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> but because you know me. You know I am a raggedy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not raggedy, but continue. <laughs> I am as raggedy as it gets. So it's just that I speak this way. And I would rather do that than force an accent. I feel like that would be mm-hmm. weird. Mm-hmm. Especially if I, if I forget it. <laughs> I start speaking like yes. me. And also, I feel like it's weird to just change accents in between people. I don't like that. I... I'm intentional about not code switching. Mm-hmm. Okay. Unless I'm around, like, if I'm in the rural areas, I will. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with that either. No, 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 because um, I just don't like being judged about the English. So I'm just like, no, no, thank you. Let me code switch. But um, in general, in, in, in wherever I am now, I'm just yeah. going to do, I'm going to do, I'm going to do me. And you're just going to catch up or you're not. Yeah. Um, I've been told that I'm intimidating every time. Yeah. No. What do you think? Oh, intimidating. I've been, okay. I've okay. been told. So okay. that's other people's perception, right? That counts. Yes. No. Yes. Okay. Um, you you sound like you're gonna interrupt me. Go. Okay. Are you sure? Very sure. <laughs> I feel like you're trying to run away from yeah. this. I see it. Um. Usually, when I'm in a, a setting where I have to meet people. Yeah. I turn on the social me. So I'm a lot more talkative than I am in real life. So um, I'll crack jokes, but not this level of jokes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, event appropriate jokes. <laughs> yeah, we know our style of joke. Like, yeah, yeah. We... You all remember we went to that um, event in at the old ice rink back in our hometown. Uh-huh. And then we loved. <laughs> We made a joke, and this guy thought we were laughing at him. Uh, well, oh, it was so awkward. He was part of it, but he wasn't all of it. He wasn't the the punchline. And it was all it was awkward. It was so awkward. But anyway, sorry to that man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you, but sorry to that man. Um, I, so I do, and then my social battery runs out, and then I end up sitting in a corner mm-hmm. on my phone, or just staring, or drinking. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, in general, if I, if I meet new people, I, I don't I don't try to be a friend. Like, I'll be like, hey, what's up? Yeah, 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 and I'll sit in my corner. Yeah. And then, you know, in general, again, like I said earlier in the episode, I do try to generally approach people with respect in general. So it might seem like I'm being overly friendly or, or I'm being friendly if I offer you or you want to sit here or you want to do this or something. And I'm like, yeah. no, it's just being... Decently. Just being a good person. <laughs> and then, you yeah. know, all of that. I mean, maybe I could be, like, a little too strong. Because there's a... I think I am mm-hmm. unapologetic. But I think that may come across as being short. Or, like, very... How do I say it? Like with attitude? Or... No, just like a thing of, I'm just like, nah, I don't do that. Oh, okay. 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 I get you. You know what I mean? Get you. I don't know how people interpret that. I don't, I think that there may be people that interpret it either way. Again, also I'm not meeting a lot of new people all the time. <laughs> so it's hard to say these things. True. Um, I can only what really about... talk about it in, the, in a work setting, but even then when you're at work, you're really turning it on. Like, Yeah, you have to. I'm you don't not, have a choice. If I'm if I really was me at work, I'd be like, I hate all of you. You know? Yeah. And I'm like, you're running my motherfucking check. <laughs> Bitch. You uh, know. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I don't know, but is it closer to me? I would think it's probably close. What about what you think the people in your life think about you? Oh, that I'm a mess. <laughs> what? Uh I'm a mess physically, but I'm also, like, driven. Okay. So, I'm stubborn. They know that. I know that. It's not a secret. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> I can confirm. <laughs> so, yeah. and, but it usually only comes out when it, I have a goal about something. It's not yeah. necessarily in life. I'm just j- combative. I don't want to agree. Mm, yes. It's more so a thing of... I want to do this mm. and I'm not going to stop until I do. Yeah. I don't care how long it takes me. So I think there's stubbornness that comes in there. I think that, um, I know that everybody in my house probably thinks I hate everything. <laughs> <laughs> do you give them reason to think otherwise? Yeah, because I do. <laughs> 
uh, I just, uh, you know, there are a lot of things in this world and people that I'm just like, this is stupid. <laughs> this is stupid. Why are we, this is so unnecessary. Why yeah. are we doing this? Yeah. And it's not coming from a place of uh, superiority or whatever. There's no complex about it. It's just a thing of like, why? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Just, like, just give me a reason why. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of things in the world that I feel like can be avoided if we just applied why <laughs> why a little more yes you know and then again i'm sure i do a lot of stupid shit that people are like why mm-hmm. and, and 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 at which point you are equally entitled to judge <laughs> yes it reminds me of this other meme i sent you where it says i overthink and still choose the wrong decision <laughs> yeah it happens <laughs> yeah yeah it happens um I don't think it's that far off to the other other people that don't know me. And I think I probably when I want to, when I choose to have a big personality, I can. Mm. It's kind of like a thing of, okay, this place, I want to expel my energy here. Let me. Mm. Or usually sometimes I'm just like, when I don't have to, and when I'm home, I usually don't have to. Like I have zero personality, you know? Yes. Um, okay. But yeah, I mean, that's it. That's, I don't know. I guess I'm funny. I guess. You guess? <laughs> you are hilarious. Uh, I feel like the backbone of all our jokes <laughs> is from you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just because I say some rude shit. Yeah. Because I'm unfiltered. That's why. Disgusting. Cancelled. <laughs> No, you really. <laughs> There's some jokes I don't even tell you because I feel like, oh no. Really? Oh, oh like, my I might offend you. <laughs> but I feel, okay, how do you hope people see you? Um, that I'm not that bitch to be played with. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I like having a sense of authority about myself. Mm-hmm. It, it helps because I've noticed that when you don't have it, people take advantage of you. Yes. Um, in whatever sector, in normal life, corporate life, whatever life. Mm. Um, when people can tell by actually, you know, this one's a bit... Uh, not Okay, when I say this, I don't mean it in a very cocky way. But in the sense of this one's too smart for my bullshit. Mm, okay. I yeah, don't mean that yeah. in a cocky way. I just, You know what I mean? Like, I, yeah. when, you, when you know that this person can see through you. Yeah. And I've been trying very hard over the last few years. Maybe it's my interest in forensic psychology and all that stuff. Yes. I like to understand people's personalities in order to c- communicate with them in the way they understand. Mm-hmm. And also to disarm them in mm-hmm. a sense. No, 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 not in a manipulative way, but them to be like, just let your guard down. Like, we're all humans. Just be yourself. Um. Yeah. Like, I try to do that even with my bosses. I try to be like, I'm... I am deferential to a point because yeah. obviously, you know, but, <laughs> but I'm not like so church mousey. Like, you know what I mean? Like mm. there's still like, you can tell about, okay, this, you, I'm, I'm not so watered down that it's not me. Mm. I'm still very much me. Um, yeah, I just try, I try, but y- you more and more, you notice that in corporate settings, you probably shouldn't. So now I've pulled back a bit, except mm. for the people that I know I like. <laughs> the people that I that know. One, <laughs> that yeah. one person you talk to. <laughs> then I'm like, okay, you can catch me at 100% because yeah. I know you're going you're gonna to understand like it. Like you would bump into them at a shop and you'd be like, oh, hi. We would go to coffee together. Oh, if that's to. great. That's great. Because we have all the tea. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. You know, I like that energy of it. Um what was that? What was the question? Sorry. How, <laughs> uh, how do you hope to be seen? I hope to be seen as a sense of authority. Yeah. Of myself, not necessarily. I'm not necessarily power hungry. I'm just because <laughs> of the way I said it, I just sounded weird. I'm not necessarily. Honestly. I don't need to be the CEO of everything. Always be in charge. I just need to. Just I'm not that bitch that you're mm-hmm. gonna fuck with. Number one, and not out of fear, but out of respect. Mm-hmm. And then, I guess funny. I guess. Um, somebody that's like relaxed like I try not to take myself too seriously I don't know if it comes across like in my head I don't take myself too seriously but I feel like because of the the what I've been told is an intimidating factor mm-hmm. people think I take myself seriously when I really don't okay so what I try and do is I, like because you know how I'll take the piss out of you right yes all the time yeah but I would hope that you take the piss out of me I don't do it just because I want to constantly take the piss out of you. Yeah. It's more of a thing of a, I prefer the back and forth than the, 
I mean, it's not fun. What am I doing all the time? <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, then it just turns into bullying. <laughs> that's yeah. what it is. So, but I feel like a lot of the time, that's why I don't do it a lot anymore at work and all that stuff or anything like that because I realize people really just don't. They don't take no. well. No, they can take the job, but they don't reciprocate anything. Cause then, but oh, they, cause okay. if you keep doing it like that, then it starts to look weird. Yeah. So I'm yeah. just like, eh. I, I think people think I take myself a lot seriously than I do. Okay. And I think maybe because I, I don't want to admit it, but I'm, maybe there's a thing about me that's sensitive. I don't know. A- am I? You tell me. I think, <laughs> um, sensitive in what sense? I don't know. Maybe I get my feelings hurt easily, or I'm defensive. I don't think I don't think you're defensive. I don't think you're sensitive either. I think I, I think the the whole um what you call it sense of authority being um visible within a crowd. Mm-hmm. I think that's your one of your greatest powers honestly. Oh. Um <laughs> I think also the fact that you're calm about it is the most confusing thing, but it's just so cool either way. I'm calm about what? Like your power like oh <laughs> <laughs> like you come off as really calm but you have the the you know the, i'm panicking the, off the time yeah. <laughs> i know deep okay. i can see it i'm it's like okay. a duck <laughs> and the water you know the feet are like but on top so calm. Yeah. So yeah. Calm. Yeah, i think because i've known you for so long i can tell when yeah oh no yeah. we need to leave <laughs> it's not it's not mm. i should put in it's <laughs> yeah but I think you're fairly accurate. Like, I can see. I don't think you're raggedy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not there. I don't raggedy think you're adjacent, raggedy. maybe. <laughs> the cousin. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> but I think that, you know, you do have a lot happening in, in your head as well. That maybe you stop yourself from... You know, fully coming into. Don't use my lines against. <laughs> Don't use no. my lines. <laughs> you sure. you an original that. bitch. <laughs> that's, that's the truth. You though. plagiarizing like, asshole. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not doing that. I feel like you could be that bitch if you wanted to. <sighs> if you could get out the. the I think that's oh the one thing about me is I do know is I do overthink a bit, but I don't know if people can tell. Oh. Well, a lot, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if people can tell the way I can tell. Okay. So if I'm in a moment where I'm like I'm overthinking this, I'm overthinking. I don't know unless I when I'm unless I'm explicitly asking yeah. and I'm telling you what my thought process is about this, and then you can say I'm I'm overthinking. Yeah. Without that, I don't know if people can actually tell that nine times out of ten from like whatever i do i overthink it if i send an email i read it at least 10 times before i send i check who's cc i check everything i, check everything. I open the attachments at yeah. least twice like open it, like, like i'm checking everything darling you're just mentally ill <laughs> <laughs> that's all it is yeah no, no, no. anxiety has got me by chokehold i'm not gonna lie oh, bro. it really does i'm glad okay no i'm like i don't know i'm <laughs> glad about no, I was going to say, I'm glad I got the depression part under control, but I don't know, because sometimes it randomly pops mm. in and I have, like, an episode. You yeah, know, I don't have any control. <sighs> I'm on the boat. Yeah, the but I, is the, the one I don't have a control over is the anxiety, because every time I wake up, I'm like, oh, fuck, 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 you know? Yeah, so for me right now, I, I, I don't know, okay. I, um, you, you get scared to say it, because yeah. it's like it takes it, I know. <laughs> no, but the, the anxiety for me has gotten a lot better. Mm. Well, at least we're improving in one area, both one of us. One area, but the depression, boy. Well, yeah, boy. yours is also hormonal. Yeah, that, yo, yes. And that's not going to help you much. <laughs> at all. Like, right now... I have a question to ask you about that, but after this. Yeah, <clears throat> right now, it is my worst week in my cycle. Uh, yes. Okay, I was going to ask you that. Yeah. It so, is and, that you, and, and the fact that it coincides with everything else is just shit show for you. <laughs> that's just like... I was like, oh, I hope it's not next week. Because if it was next week, I get it's over. It's cancelled. Next week? What's happening next week? I'm 25. Mm. <laughs> That's why I was hoping it wasn't next <laughs> week. It's not a life. <laughs> burn, man. <laughs> I'm going to do that every time you do a burn sign, by the way. I just want you to know. You really think about that? <laughs> I really think about doing that every single oh, time. Wow. And I will, now that you know. No, I'm I know. Really... By the way, next week we're going to go to Camps Bay. I mean, not Camps Bay. Hard Bay. Yes. We're going to Hard Bay. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Don't you can't back out. So whenever Tinder date you have, it cancels it. I will. 
Cancelled it. <laughs> on Sunday? No, Saturday. Okay. No, Sunday. Why? I might have another day. It doesn't matter. Yeah. There's, there's a friend that I want to finally meet now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it we'll, we'll, talk, we'll talk again. And it <laughs> wow. So imagine they now how many years now I'm playing second fiddle? What? I'm playing second fiddle to no. your, your new friend. <laughs> Why don't you move them around around my fucking schedule? Okay. It's okay. No, don't you dare I'm psychologize still, me. I'm still your friend. Don't you dare. I'm still your friend. You still care. Do I? Yeah, you do, because knowing you, you wouldn't have allowed me in the house anyway. So, yeah. If you didn't care, you wouldn't have at all. Uh, no, I just, I, I, I would have to finish the season. <laughs> a driven hoe. I love it. Again, you see how, you see how it comes back? Does it mean so? You see how it comes back? Full circle. I Apparently, my moon is Capricorn, and apparently Capricorns are very driven people. Okay. I don't know what any of the shit means, but producer does. I am 5'2", muting all of those words on my Twitter. All the scar signs. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> all of them. Yo. Listen, the things that people will, um, what do you call it? Yes. Make excuses for. Make excuses for. Just because, yo, boy. I am ready to fight them. All of them. All the star signs. Let's I go. I cheated on you because the moon is in retrograde. I want <laughs> to... Mercury is in retrograde. Because you cheated. What <laughs> the fuck? I'm ready to go into space and destroy all of those stars. Just yeah. for that. And I mean, if you're into all that shit, that's not really a bad thing. But now, <laughs> if you're blaming your toxic behavior on yes, it, that's, that's where the problem comes that's in. That's where I'm, I'm, I'm talking from. If you want to do your area... Your call. <laughs> <laughs> if it's erifer for you, hey, I'm bamba erifer. I'm bamba when a pig sit a meta when a butterfly. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> no. But yeah, you know. Oh, I fucking dropped the mic. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, down and I saw something move, and I fucking dropped the mic. I was like, what no. the fuck? <laughs> I wouldn't be so relaxed. Yeah, but also, my thing is, was like, this mic stand is so stable. How could it happen? <laughs> what were you doing? <laughs> How'd you get that wrong? <laughs> Oh, oh otherwise we're just you know um so yeah, you think i'm you think I'm, you think i'm you think i'm pretty on point you think my existence the way that i feel like my existence cars um co uh, collides with other people's existences mm. is fairly mm. accurate how people perceive me in that moment of collision is fairly accurate to what it really is i think also somebody who's not i don't know i i can see why they say you're intimidating Please explain. Um, I would love to know. <laughs> I would love to know. Because you're a bitch. Okay. <laughs> Works for me. Works for me. I think um, because in general, I think also you take your time to feel people out. Um, so you won't be very familiar too quickly, which a lot, I think a lot of people fall into mm-hmm. a lot of the time. So maybe that's why they say you're intimidating. I don't see. I don't agree with that. So explain that better. Like you know how people are willing to like be extra nice, or it, it comes off fake sometimes. Or okay, you like if we in a situation where it's like a party vibe, they expect me to really be in the mix. And if I'm just sitting there, yeah. and these things are bad, okay, you know what? You're not fake. That's the explanation. Yeah, but how many people can really tell that? Or is it something that if you know, you just know, and you can just sense that about a person? I don't know. I because for me, it's like, parties. for me, it's like, I can tell that about people. I, th- I feel like I'm a very good judge of character of people. Mm-hmm. And I can tell that fairly, fairly quickly for most people. Sometimes it'll take me, yeah. Sometimes it'll take me a, a while to get that judge of character. It's the final episode. Let's give the people what they want. I have a date. Okay, then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> in 30 minutes, so I still have some time. So, yeah. um, For the most part, but then there's some people where you do have to feel them out because you don't really know. Mm. Because once you take away their bullshit of what they feel like they need to be doing in a social setting, I prefer to get to know you when we're just sitting. Ooh, this reminds me. You know what I'm saying? And that's the version of people, and that's the version of me that I am all the time. How do I explain? 
I wouldn't say like intimidating, like you're hard to um, approach, approach, or that I'm scared. Okay, I'm not scared of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not this disrespectful you. asshole. <laughs> you're a puppy dog. Like, I am. <laughs> I really am. I'm a softy. Well, whoo, child. What? The things that she does. Oh. Who? Me? You. For what? The baby voice. Oh. Firstly. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised that she hasn't come on. Because I'm saving that for when I get paid to do it. Okay. When my voice acting <laughs> when my voice acting comes in and I get paid to do that voice. Okay. That's when I will do it on air. Okay. I I'm here for that. Yeah. I think you should save it. No, that. I yeah, I mean I'm quietly sensitive. And I'm I feel like my EQ is high, but I don't know. I feel like also I mean talking about invisible things. Um, your anxiety doesn't, I don't see your anxiety when we're in a public space until it's like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe, maybe it takes me a bit, a bit of a while to fully confirm like, no, she's going through it. But I've never really been with you like a, to like a big party. True. Let's go to one this weekend. No. Let's test it out. No. <laughs> I'm kidding. I wouldn't go. Like if we were yeah. to go to Rands now, just you and I, yeah. and we sat with a bunch of strangers. I wouldn't say a word. I'll probably just be talking to you. That's exactly what I'm saying. So yeah. we, we, we wouldn't sit because both of us would not try to be in the crowd. True. So if one of us True. was trying to be in the crowd and then the other was retreating, then we would notice the difference. But yeah. neither of us go to big crowds. And in a small setting, I can obviously, it's kind of hard to not interact. <laughs> so that's how it's, 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 um, what's the word? It's disguised because it, mm. when it's so in a small, if there's only five, six of us, I mean, it's gonna you're gonna notice when I'm just sitting in the corner. You feel yeah. me? Yeah, yeah. Um, and then you just you try a little hard, and then after the alcohol hits, and then by nine o'clock you're like, okay, I'm going to Yeah, it's time. To leave. Speaking of school together, guys. Hey, you must go to get. Go to get. It's um been a wonderful season. Thank you so so much. All for indulging us. <laughs> all ten of you for listening. Love all of you love all of you we think it's amazing i actually only thought it was gonna be three people and by three people i meant us <laughs> although we were gonna record this put on youtube and then this listen would, to it this would be like a chemical thing just like refresh oh now it's 39 views okay i really thought that would be the case yeah. i'm not gonna lie i thought we were gonna be chemical even um, if it's just five views for this it's cool that aren't us that aren't us <laughs> i feel like that's really cool yeah. shout out um say hi in the comments we'll be back in a couple of months we're gonna re-up we're gonna look um, for better bigger things um and yes yeah, the homies Bye. goodbye